In this tutorial video, we'll be covering creating the network data set part two. The key concepts that will be covered in this video are building the network data set, testing the network, and publishing the network services. You should always test the network in ArcGIS Pro to ensure that you capture any mistakes or connectivity issues in the network before publishing. Standing up the application and finding network errors after the fact would take up more time to correct than simply checking for errors beforehand. The first step that we're going to take is building the network for online consumption. In the geoprocessing pane, click Toolboxes, expand the Network Analyst Tools, Network Dataset, and build the network. The next step we're going to take is browsing to the Input Network Dataset. Browse to your ArcGIS Indoors Information Model Geodatabase on Network and Network ND. Click Run. Now that you have built the network, we're going to test the network. Head back to the Contents page and select Network ND. Under the Analysis ribbon, we're going to click on Network Analysis and we're going to generate a service area. And we're also going to generate a route. Once you've done this, Select your service area in the table of contents. Click on Network Analyst on the ribbon on the top and click on Import Facilities. Ensure that you select Lines from the Polygon Select option. Select a point in your Points of Interest feature class, preferably furthest away from the others. In the Add Location to Geoprocessing tool, change your search tolerance to 5 meters. Make sure you uncheck the append to existing locations. We're now going to run this tool. Once this geoprocessing tool is completed, you will now see a facility point on your scene. Head back to the Network Analyst Service Area ribbon. In testing this network, we're going to ensure that we're selecting walking and we're going to set the cutoff to 60. Also, ensure you have lines selected. Click on Run in the Network Analyst ribbon. Now that this geoprocessing tool is complete, we can check the results of the service area. The entire network should be highlighted. If any sections are not reached, recheck the connectivity in those areas. Now that we've checked to ensure that our network is working correctly, we're going to publish it to our enterprise. We're going to open a new map. From the map ribbon, we're going to add data from our ArcGIS Indoors information model. We're going to add the network ND to the map. In order to publish without errors, you must remove the base map first. In your contents, select and remove Hillshade and Topographic Map. Select the ND layer in the table of contexts. Choose Analysis. And in sequence, you're going to add New Route. and a new closest facility. Next, remove the network ND layer from your map.
On the Share tab, select Web Layer. And you're going to publish the web layer. This will allow us to access the indoor routable network through the enterprise portal. Ensure that your data is referencing registered data. Your portal folder should be selected to your root. Once complete, switch to the configuration tab. Click on network analysis. Once this is finished, we can publish the network. You will now be able to access the routable network and closest facility components through the ArcGIS Indoors Enterprise Portal. This network service layer will be used to configure web and mobile applications as well as any other applications through the ArcGIS suite. This includes Mobile 311, Survey123 configuration as well as ArcGIS dashboards. Be sure to check out our other videos on how to stand up the ArcGIS indoors model. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. To get started with ArcGIS indoors, follow the link in the description below.